Okay, so I am back and let's just start because I want to make this as quick as possible and I'll do a brief explanation. Okay, first thing I got is I've done my whole bathroom in my apartment over in Beach. I love the beach. I used to live near the beach on the Jersey Shore. My parents live in Miami Beach. I got two. Now that I'm in Illinois, I like to remember the beach. So uh, I got two uh, of these really amazing smelling bath soaps I mean hand wash soaps sorry not bath soaps and they're called ocean mist from she let's see om she oh my gosh beautiful beautiful like salty air sandy beach these are gorgeous and I did get two of these because they were only $4.99 a piece they last me a long time in my bathroom and I needed new hand soap I had just got done with the um, generic soft soap that I had in my bathroom okay um, the next thing I got was for my secondary bathroom, which is done in this really cute um, kind of farmhouse motif, and you can see pictures. I have two websites, and you can go to my teddybearspot.com website, which is my home decor and cozy lifestyle and home living website, and I'll put the link down below. And I got this Garrison Home Hand Soap. I mean, I love this. It's huge. It was like, oh my gosh, six bucks. Um, it just fits that whole motif of the kind of farmhouse modern. Another thing I got for the farmhouse bathroom is this Apasanti Gel Douche, which is from Harper and Lee. It is a eucalyptus smelling body wash. It smells great. My son who uses that bathroom and the men in my life more then uh, I do will love this because it's not too florally or masculine scents. In the same vein, I got this Alba Botanical uh, shampoo and, sorry, the matching conditioner. These are amazing for fine hair. I have really thick hair, but again, for the bathroom, the guest bathroom, these will be great. They're Hawaiian and they don't really go with the theme, but they'll be hot. They'll, they'll be behind the curtain, the closed curtain of the shower curtain. So no, and we'll see those. Um, I got this. Okay, again, for the men in my life, these great little poofs. They're great color. You know, they're not too feminine. Those are great. And for me. I got this Aqua Beauty Sea Foam 2-in-1 Soap and Sponge. I love this. has the sea soap sponge with the poof, and then, of course, when the soap is all gone, it just detaches. Um, oh, actually, you detach the soap and you can use both. So this is really nice just to put in the shower. I needed a new poof. Mine is totally, you know how they get when they come apart? They, like, they get all loose and hanging down, and you do have to replace them every now and then. And this whole thing with the soap was $1.99, which is cheaper than a poof I bought at Walmart, okay? So thank God for Marshall. But I got this Ollie and, o Ollie and Olivia. Uh, as you can see, has the little tie, kind of like the Vera Bradley ones. Has this bag, and then I like it because it has two plastic, three plastic pouches, and then it simply rolls up. You can tie it, and then what I love is you can hang it. Okay, another thing I got for traveling are these from the same company, the Alba, these Hawaiian detox um, towelettes with volcanic clay. I have oily skin, and sometimes I'll remove my eye makeup at night, but I'm too tired. Like last night, I said earlier, we got in at 3.30 in the morning, and I'll brush my teeth because that's super important. But washing my face sometimes when you're exhausted is just like one step too many. So I do use these Hawaiian. I will use these just to take off my makeup, and I will keep these in my suitcase as part of my stuff that I bring on a layover. Okay, another group of items that will go into my layover bag that I have one of at home but I am constantly having to unpack my suitcase before I'm ready to redo it again for another trip because I don't have two of everything. I have one cuticle nipper, one tweezer, because I have tweezers and things like that that I love, but I really need to have a better system because it really slows me down. So for my suitcase, I bought a cuticle nipper, which comes in handy for so many things, as well as giving yourself a pedicure on the run. 
uh, in a hotel room. Lots of times I have downtime and it's a great way to do those little things that you don't have time for. You can always go get a pedicure too and that's really nice, but um, sometimes I don't want to. Sometimes I just want to do it myself and pretend I'm 16 and doing it on my own like I used to when I was younger. It's kind of fun. I got these uh, nail clippers and these were like $3.99. This was a cuticle nipper, $4.99. And these are usually like $16, $17, $18. They can go up to $20 or $30. I got two tweezers and I got everything in pink, if you didn't notice, so that I could put them all together. And this, the pink ones, I have black ones at home. This will be my travel bag accessories. I got an eyelash curler to curl my eyelashes. Another thing is I bought these for my eyeshadow palettes because they come with these usually. I prefer to use these. I'm not an eye... I don't like using brushes that much. I have eye makeup brushes, a set that my mom gave me, beautiful from Sephora, that are in a pink, cute little travel bag. And I bring those with me. But with certain eyeshadows, I prefer to use these sponge applicators. And these are Vintage Cosmetic Company. There's 24 for $2.99. And these will last me quite a while. Or maybe not, because they may be cheap and will fall apart. But that's okay, $2.99, I'm willing to take a chance. Two other things that I got in the name of Foot Beauty besides my scrub is coconut foot cream. I don't know if you could see that. And this soothes and repairs rough and severely dry skin. And then I got a cooling peppermint foot scrub because my feet hurt when I work all day. I worked 20 hours. I figured it out. I worked 20 hours yesterday. I got up at 8. Well, I worked probably... 17 but I was up at 8 o'clock in the morning and we got to the hotel at 3 30 so my feet hurt today what every flight attendant needs I got another sleep mask I have one that I got in a, uh, a work an international amenities kit that I've had now for a really long time and I love it but I have forgotten it on layovers and been so upset and I have a couple um, eye masks that I got at home free with Victoria's Secret pajamas, but I don't love those. They're all right, but they don't cover my eyes enough to get a really good sleep. And sometimes I do sleep with the light on once in a while. If I fall asleep, I'm tired. So this eye mask will be great to constantly keep in my bag as an extra in case I forget the one that I have. And this was $4.99, but it's silky and it looks beautiful and I can't wait to try it. Okay, along with my peppermint foot cream, well, foot scrub and then my foot cream, what does a girl need to keep the cream on her feet and to uh, sleep in are these comfy, cozy spa socks. And these were $6. They're aloe socks, cozy, double layer. I don't sleep in any hotel room without socks. If it's in the middle of the summer or the middle of the winter, I always wear socks on my feet. I don't know, it's something about getting in a hotel bed or with the sheets without socks. So these are by Spa Bell. They were $6 on sale. Um, usually they're not too hot because the air conditioning in hotels in the summer is usually blasting. I usually have to put on a hoodie like this one and sleep in it if it's um, too hot. It's usually never too hot. But if it is, you can buy a thinner pair of socks for summer. But I'm excited to try these. And look at this cute little gingham pattern and they're like fuzzy. I got this Island Palm candle. There was a, so this candle is so awesome. It smells like, mm, it smells, oh my gosh, it smells like palm trees. And I'm gonna go home and light this up in my bathroom. I've got the whole spa bathroom thing down. My bathroom is so beachy. I found these, I didn't buy them yet, but I found these beautiful um, Turkish bath towels in pretty beachy stripes that are so inexpensive on Etsy and I would love to be able to get those and really tie in my whole beach theme. If you're interested in see what my bathroom looks like, you can go over to teddybearspot.com. That's my home decor website. And you can learn more about all my home life there. Let's see, I got this wallet because I don't have my purse with me here, but my wallet is so thick and I carry this little cross shoulder body bag and my cards bulge out of it. And this is just enough to carry my One American Express my one other credit card and the rest will be my medical insurance and things like that. I don't like to carry a lot of credit cards when I travel or period because then you um, you can use them and it's probably better if you don't use them all the time and you can lose them as well. So that's that. And then the only other three last things that I got in the clothing section was 
this Nicole Miller New York top, which is like a high-low hem a little bit, if you can see. It has like a longer back than it does the front. And I know the lighting is not that great on this video, but this is like a stretchy, and it's like a sleep tee. It definitely was in the pajama department and it was on clearance. It was regularly $34 Marshall's price and I got it for $6. Um, it's rayon spandex and I actually thought this would be a great tee because it's made of the same material that you exercise in. Not only would this be a good sleep tee, but it's great workout tee with a pair of black leggings. It's a great yoga tee. So for that price for $6 and Nicole Miller top, hey, I'm no dummy. And I got, I had to have these. These were only $9.99. I uh, will put these in my layover bag too, or even wear them at home. I usually wear the yoga pants on my layover, but these cute little nautical pajama pants, $99, and look how cute they are. Isaac Mizrahi, I love color, I love nautical. With any old t-shirt I have at home, they'll be perfect. And I have like two other pairs of summer pajamas, so that gives me three to rotate out. I'm a happy girl, what can I say? And then last but not least to carry all this stuff home, I walked, I got such a workout today. This bag weighed like over 10 pounds and I carried it a mile, holding it in my arms like this. We ended up stopping at the Cheesecake Factory and I had a cup of, um, I had some sugar-free, carb-free cheesecake and I didn't even eat it all, I only ate part of it. Beth treated me and we each had, and I had some chamomile tea and maybe some mint tea, I think it's a mint tea, and Beth had a Zambuca and coffee, and she had a delicious double chocolate fudge cheesecake, but she can only eat half. So I did buy this adorable Vera Bradley tote bag to carry everything home in, and you know, I wasn't gonna buy it at first. It was regularly $100, and I got it for $29.99, or was it $34? But it was under, under $40. I, it's quilty, but it's not too kitschy and like country home, to, you know, it's not like, uh, hi, I'm a quilter, you know, not that there's anything wrong with being a quilter, I quilt, I sew, but in my personal life and out and about, you know, I definitely want my bag to be a little bit cozy, but a little bit chic, and I thought this print was pretty nice, and I loved all the pockets. So I am going to use this. I mean, there are pockets, 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 inside, outside. This is like a great tote bag because it looks cool. I can bring this when I travel. As a flight attendant, I could tell you, this makes a great purse. It has a zipper closed so things can't fall out. People can't reach into your bag. And you could, and it's fabric, so it's malleable. You can put it underneath the seat in front of you, and that's going to be my purse. And I'll put all my important papers and my passport and my all my goodies in there, my makeup bag and everything else. That's it. So there's my haul. What do you think? I hope you liked everything. I feel really happy. Oh, one more thing. I lied. I got this rose hips body oil with these natural rose, and I love body oil. I use it sometimes instead of moisturizer, and I'm gonna put this in my bathroom too. So this is aromatherapy. It smells so gorgeous, and like I talk about on my um, blog about flying over 50 and the things that you need to do to feel good, whether you are totally healthy or have an autoimmune illness like I do, doing things to make you feel good and keep you going is so important. So one of those things can be aromatherapy. I really hoped you liked this video and I can't wait to share more things with you. Give it a thumbs up or share it with a friend. You can visit my website and my blog. I've put all the links below where you can find me on social media. And thanks for tuning in. Fly safe and I look forward to our next conversation.